I'm going to show you a really simplistic example of how to collaborate on major incidents from ServiceNow within Microsoft Teams. So within ServiceNow, I'm going to start with a new incident. And my really simple workflow triggers on when the urgency is high. So I'm going to submit that incident, and then we should see that workflow pick up and send a notification into Teams. Um, so I've got this card that was generated from ServiceNow, populating all the things that, that I got from there. If we go back to our channel, we'll see that I am, I am populating um, all my major incidents from ServiceNow within the incidents channel within this service desk team and team. So I've got multiple uh, incidents that may be happening at the same time, and uh, each one gets its own thread where we can reply to it and do things like at mention people to see if they can help us. We can do things like start uh, meetings. So if I get this up and running, this can act as my conference bridge. If we still uh, need that for this particular case where I can bring people in, I still have access to my chat. We can uh, attach, we can record, we can do all kind of those kinds of things. So I'm gonna close that out for now. And then I have everything else that I might need around the collaboration of these incidents. Maybe I have a link back to service now. Maybe I've got um, specific reports that um, you know leaders might wanna look at while they're going through here. Maybe I've got OneNote uh, notebooks to either keep track of things that are going on, or maybe I've got instructions for how to run major incidents, that kind of thing. So I've got uh, details on how uh, to build this workflow and how to build more complete slash complex workflows uh, going from ServiceNow uh, into Microsoft Teams in the description below. Thanks.